So this will be part four of our Angular Angular UI Spring Boot API tutorial for beginners. It's very step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial. So this is what we want to do now. We want to display the list that has been retrieved in a HTML table like this. In the previous part, we retrieved some items from the, the we retrieved some items from an API. So if I go here, you can see the items that have been retrieved. We can now see it on the console, but now I want to display it on the HTML table. If you are joining for the first time, remember to subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment if you have any challenges. I'm gonna give you, give you the support you need. And let's now see. Now, this in the step-by-step, -step, you have everything you need. If you want, you can type it out. But to save time, I'm going to copy it and paste, and it's very, very easy to understand. So you create a HTML table. You simply say tr ng4 is equal to like friends or friends. Now, this friends here is the same friends that we created, which is this one. Okay, make no mistake about it. This is okay. Let me shift. It's like my I'm blocking the, the code. Okay, so uh, and then for each friend record is going to now display the ID, the first name, department, and so on. So I think this should be easy. So I'm not going to spend time explaining it because you're a smart person. I think you should understand it. So let me just copy it and paste. Now we are going to paste it in the friend component, in the friend component, uh, the HTML here. Okay. So I'm going to paste it right here, command B. And that's all. So you have this. If you paste it like this, I'm just going to save it, command uh, X, right? Command X, saves. And if I go back to our friend UI, you can see that the friend has been displayed. That is how easy it is. And so feel free to give, give me a thumbs up if this has been informative. Let's move on because we are not done yet. There is still much work to be done. The code above is simple, okay? Now we need to add the add new button, okay? Now, if you look at the one we already have here, we have this fine, a beautiful button we have here. It's, it's inside a border, right? Okay. So we need to add this button that also has font awesome icon right inside. So I'm going to come to this place. Uh, this is the code. I'm going to simply add this code on top of the table. Okay. So I'm going to add it and then I'm going to explain it to you. So let me shift this a little bit. So right above the table, right above the table, I'm going to add this code I copied from my website. Let me make some room so that I can see both the code and the, the website page. Now I've added this button. If I save everything and we go back to preview, you can see that the button is, is there right now. But you can see that there is no space around this button. So it doesn't actually make much sense uh, when you don't do something that is real neat. So let's go to the website. We are going to copy this. This is going to, you already should understand what this is all about. So I'm going to simply copy. This tile will actually add some border around the button and also uh yeah add some space between the the, the 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 font awesome icon and the text in the bottom for instance if i go back here you can see the 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 the, the, the font awesome icon the icon and the text is, is is kind of together so i want to separate it so go back to style the css and paste this style you copied from my website and now if i save you can see everything will adjust at this point so this is fine we've displayed our table and let's go to the steps to see what nice step we have now we also need to add details edit and delete button so basically to do that you uh you need to add this code add one more column to the table and add this code so basically let's go back to the table uh to friend component now I'm going to close every other thing using close orders, close orders so that everything will be neat. We need to add one more column to this table. So in the head, I'm going to say TH and I'm going to call it actions. And um, also I'm going to add another TD here 
td slash td now this td is already here so i can actually copy this and just replace so i can actually just copy this and use it to replace this okay command b okay normally i like seeing the updates uh made on the site immediately so this is what we have at this point okay uh just to show you that we are not making a joke let me just take out this again i'm gonna take it out if i take it out uh delete uh, maybe cut and i save everything you can see that it goes right aha uh -huh. so um i save again it comes back so it kind of do it, it do uh it does auto reload uh after you make some changes all right so we've made some headway now let me just talk to you a little bit about this font awesome and also these buttons when you say button class btn btn small sm btn btn info has this color here btn btn warning uh, has the color warning color which is orange right btn danger has a color of red the font awesome icon for edits is what i use for edits you can see uh this here i slash i is for edits and also such is what i use for detail and i use fa remove because i can't see fa delete or fa cancel so fa remove also gives you a beautiful icon that can work for delete operation so let me see how much time i have so we can i can see if i can continue okay yeah we can continue all right so uh table margin to p to px let me see let me just show you something if you look at the this one okay and you look at our one you can see it seems that this our button tends to be bigger than okay it's the same but you can see the space between the buttons is a, a little bit different uh in each of them so to correct that you can actually decide to leave it is okay but i think uh you can actually play around by adding a little margin only a margin of two between the buttons themselves so copy this and just paste it in the style of css go to the style of css and also add it so this is going to correct everything okay and um, just kind of it's not yeah, sorry i don't know what's happening to my side okay so this is where we are so far so at this point we've gotten all the way to this place uh i would like you to play around i'm gonna stop here so i'd like you to play around the nice types first congrats if you've come this far and there's still much to be done so when we click on these buttons when we click on these buttons, nothing happens. So let's say if I go back to French UI, click on the button, nothing happens. Friends, nothing happens. Click, 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 nothing happens. So that's what we are going to be working on the nice part. You can actually read, a, read ahead of me if you want, but don't tamper with what we are already doing because we can do it together. Um, so if you follow the procedure correctly, this is what you have. So I'm going to stop here and the nice part, maybe I'm going to... I'm going to simply go to the nice part so that we know what we are doing. The nice part will be a uh, crude operation. Possibly we are going to be working on maybe um, setting up the pop-up. Yeah, very important, a pop-up. Uh, this is a pop-up we are talking about, like this. So setting up something like this is what we are going to be doing on the nice part. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe. Leave me a comment. These comments are really motivating for me. So leave me a comment. I like seeing comments from you. And let me know if this has helped you. And we see in the nice part.